This conference will now be recorded. Hi, hello all. Welcome to the next session on SAP ABAP fundamentals. And in the previous class, we have discussed about uh, what exactly the internal table operations and all. And today we are going to uh, talk about so what exactly the uh, uh, we are going to implement some kind of practical uh, on this and what exactly we are going to see and also we are going to see st uh, step by step uh, debugging as well guys so that also we are going to look it out and so this is uh, this is the uh, thing we have discussed in the previous class and the internal table operations very very important guys okay so internal table operations are very very important these are core concepts uh, one of the core concept in sap abap and uh, so there are three kind of data objects one is the variable with that we can have single field and we can store the single value and if you want to group the fields we need to have an a one work area and the capacity of the work area is we can store multiple fields or multiple columns but only with single value guys and suppose in the real time we will be handling with multiple records so if you want to store the multiple records uh, in the uh, runtime execution of your program so we need to have an a uh, internal table and the syntax to define the uh, the internal table and work area and uh, uh, variable is the object these three are the data objects and we are going to define with the data and if it is in a single field we are going to refer with predefined data types and a type so one of the data type we are going to use and we have different kind of data types c and dt character numeric date and a time a string x string and packet decimal and floating point guys okay these are all the some of the data types and if you want to have multiple fields together we need to have in a user defined data, type, data types that's we are going to declare with the types so types is in a data type which doesn't have any memory allocation just we are going to use for the reference purpose and so here we have defined the types with the multiple fields here you can say employee number employee name and date of birth and that we have referred to the work area a work area will be created and this is an internal table and so, so the keyword to define a internal table is the type table of guys and the reference is the ty emp guys these are my a reference this work area and internal table will be created with the three columns of three fields of this types guys okay very very important so this is the key of our all of our programs guys. this is an examples and we we will be having different kind of defining that things as well that we are going to see in the later section but this is a base and fundamentals for your data objects guys and so let's take look like so if you want to pass the values to the work area. if it is in a single variable directly i can assign it with the field name but if it is in a work area if you want to assign the values to the field names you need to prefix the work area and iphone and you need to mention your field name guys so so this is the work area this is this is the structure look like in the uh, in your abap and if you see the work area in the debugging mode you are going to see the record in this format guys next and also we have the internal table and where is that picture yeah now you can see this is my work area this is my internal table guys how can you move the data from work area to the internal table so we have some kind of operations one is the append so always with the append statement we are going to uh, move the records from work area to the internal table record by a record and every record will be stored in the last or in the end guys that's an uh, append statement and but suppose if you want to insert some record in particular position so let's take an example of i have already 10 records in that records i need to insert one record at the third position so that time we should not use the append append will insert at the 11th record but i want to insert at the third position you need to write a insert command so insert is the operation if you want to insert the record at particular position but you need to additionally add the index operation where exactly you are going to insert the record guys that's an insert and next statement is so here you can see the records are in 1012 guys it's not in a sequence uh, manner and if you want to sequence the records we are going to use the sort statement and the sort can be done in two ways you know in mathematics one is the ascending another one is the descending guys what is ascending the it will go into uh, do the sequence from lower number to the higher number and if it is in a descending 
it is going to sequence your records from the higher number to the lower number guys that's the sequence and also there are some uh, uh, duplicate records okay so maybe i will go here and uh, you have seen up and and insert we have seen and next one is the uh, uh, sort and the this type table if you want to calculate how many number of records in the internal table we are going to use that describe statement and that we are going to send into one variable to hold that calculator records we need to have one variable and the variable should be with the count guys the variable should be with the count okay that's an a, uh, a describe table guys next one is the sort already we have seen and suppose the by default your sorting is implicitly it's an ascending manner guys and if you want to ascend if you want to sequence the records in the descending you need to write the code explicitly by extending your statement with the descending uh, uh, keyword guys that's a descending and next we have seen a uh, collect suppose here you can see there is a duplicate records okay harder 100 iphone uh, 55000 harder 100 and iphone uh, 50000 harder 100 iphone 48000 here you can see this is a duplicate record so if you want to uh, avoid the duplicate records in the internal table and we are going to use the collect statement when you do the collect statement it is going to sum up all the numeric values and all the numeric values guys that's an a uh, uh, that's a collect statement next one is the next one is the uh, this conference will now be recorded so that's an a collect statement guys you can avoid the duplicate records and you can sum up the numeric values in the internal table guys it is going to sum up here this record this record and this record and it is going to sum up the records guys that's an a collect statement guys next statement is the uh, uh, move statement yes guys so you can assign the values from one variable to another variable let's say i have two fields f1 and f2 Suppose if you want to transfer the values from F1 to F2, you can use the F1, F2 equal to F1. So that is one assignment. And another assignment is move also, move F1 to the F2. The, like that also we can assign another way. And also you can assign the values from work area to the another work area. Let's take an example of, I have two work areas, work area one and work area two. Move work area one to the work area two. It is going to move the record from the uh, work area one to the work area two guys. But the condition is, the work area one and work area two fields should be the same okay if not same then you need to use move corresponding is the statement corresponding fields only it is going to move it other fields it doesn't move it guys that's a move corresponding statement guys that's a move corresponding statement okay so even you can send it from one internal table to another internal table as well and it, like this also we can do guys i tab two equal to i tab one this way also we can do the assignment guys that's the uh, things now we are going to see the program how exactly we are going to implement uh, this uh, internal table operation guys. very very important this and okay so now i am going to implement the code SC38 and EDZ7 underscore ITAB underscore OPRA TA1. Maybe it is there. Create. Yeah. So demo for internal table operations. Yes. And it's an executable program. We are going to see all this. Okay. But now blindly go with internal table operations and save. Now we can see at the end and enter. Okay. And I am going to uh, declare one uh, structure, guys. With a structure, not employee. I don't take employee. I will take the sales orders. Okay. So first, my reference structure. I need to take it, guys. Very, very important. So what are the fields you want that you need to define? Begin of 
it's my ty underscore sales i am going to do any sales operations okay my name it's my name guys so it's your free choice whatever the name you want you can put it but i will always follow the naming conventions not now you will come to know later what exactly that this and see i followed the naming convention for the program so you know what is the purpose of that and in the same way this also we are in the in the real time we are going to have some naming standards and guidelines that you need to follow guys so whatever you like if you write that logic i will not accept so there are set up standards and gui guidelines which is introduced by sap that guidelines you need to follow guys so just writing the code anybody can develop guys abcd concept anybody can develop but so that should be developed by using some set of standards and guidelines that's a important guys okay so next one is my same guys sales order number sonvo type it's my type of uh, uh, type of c and my length is the 10 guys 10 length, 10 length character i am going to take it this is my sales order number guys next I have any product okay product length is uh, maybe i can say 20 and it's my type c guys character and i have a price and how can you uh, provide the price guys uh, price yeah perfect type p and decimals two decimals i am going to take it guys so next end of hmm? ty underscore sales this is my reference data type user defined data type case what are the fields i want i have declared inside my types this is my data type user defined data type so it is only used for the reference purpose the skeleton it is okay and i cannot store your data in the data types so if you want to store the data you need to have any memory allocation if you want to get any memory allocation you need to use a data object guys okay some people initially while developing so in here i need to put period or here i need to put a comma and all guys some people will uh, have, will have the confusion here so always guys i have started my types okay so begin of my ty sales so it is not at ended your statement is not ended so that's why you need to put in a comma so here i have one field and i have one more field here i have uh, more field here and here i am going to end it so in the end only you need to put the uh, period guys that's the logic you need to understand here i am putting a uh, colon means i have more number of data objects i'm going to group together that's why i put in a colon guys okay i can declare with uh, each statement with data but it's not a good uh, it's not uh, pro it doesn't provide any good readability or it doesn't provide any good readability guys okay so there are always there are some technical terms whenever you're developing a program so always the program should be reusable and uh, readable and should be maintainable guys so the uh, three english terms you need to remember when you develop any code guys okay leave it now we'll see that concept what exactly they are uh, those concepts i'm going to define your work area and work area the keyword is the type and my reference is the ty underscore sales so a work area will be created with reference to the these types and in these types i have uh, three fields the work area will be created with this three fields guys that's an a uh, work area it is capable of uh, to hold only single record guys and next one is the itap and type uh, table of ty underscore sales guys so this is the two data objects have declared guys next so what is the next step i need to pass the values to this internal table and work areas case how can you do that so work area and i fun my sonvo equal to okay sonvo equal to i can inject by using 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0 how many zero six and seven and hundred and this is my uh, record and another record is uh, work area i fun my uh, product okay and next one is okay maybe i will take same example iphone so the, the same record only i'm going to take it guys and work area i fun my price price equal to my uh, value maybe 55 uh, 000 and price is 50 paisa guys okay so actually you can send if you don't have without decimal i can send like this guys i can send like this but since i am introducing the decimal so here above 
things so here it is ending guys it will give the syntax error so that's why whenever you have the decimal you know to keep in the single quote stage that's the uh, that's the thing and here i have the data in the work area now work area if i want to transfer one more record work area is not capable to hold the multiple records you need to send the records from work area to the internal table guys this is my record always guys so always whenever you do the practice don't write the code guys so here i did my code see is the, is my code is working properly or not so you need to debug step by step guys so this is my step i did one record i have transferred to the internal table okay don't write the code stop it here and activate your program try to practice in this way guys always now i put a break point here so like this you are going to get lot of knowledge okay i don't see the output now now you can you can go here and press guys how can you execute statement by statement now i will see is there any values in my work area no i don't have the values now you have to observe see guys since this field is defined with character by default it's in a space value this is also by default in a space value but the price the default value is 0.00 guys all these observations are very very important yes i don't have the values why because i didn't not at transfer the values into my work area yes now i transferred s1 number now the s1 number should be transferred and now i have transferred product and my product should be uh, here and i have transferred this and my i did an fi guys so that's why you got the value over here but go and see how many records in the internal table yeah internal table consists zero records and three columns guys zero records and three columns now you can see there is in a three columns the row is in a default guys but this is the row is the index of your internal table guys row is your index of your internal table i don't have any records now and when you will get the records is when you append it you are going to get the records code goes because the code is completed it goes to the standard code guys and if you want to see that values you need to write always a additional code later always that's why i always like this i am going to write it guys that's the reason i am going to write always whenever i debug i will write a dummy print always and now you can uh, uh, pretty printer always you need to pretty printer that is also good practice and do the syntax check and activate again you do the debugging now and go to the f5 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 now you see now your cursor is here now i can see the values in the i tab i tab contains one record and three columns and double click on it now you can see the values in the internal table guys and guys in the debugging also if you want to insert the values we can insert it guys it's possible so you can if you want to delete you can delete it in the debugging mode if you want to change you can change the record in the debugging mode if you want to append a new record also you can do append if you want to do a insert also you can do the insert in debugging mode guys okay in debugging mode you can do that kind of stuff maybe not now okay we'll wait later and so so till now my code is success i don't have a, i don't see any uh, errors and anything is now i will proceed with next my code what i am going to do is next i am going to do my code guys okay now i did append it i am going to use the collect statement maybe you know this code right so i can do a copy paste guys so since i know i will i can do the copy paste guys because it's a duplicate efforts so what exactly it is you know that's why i have written a copy paste same thing but here i am going to change the values to the 50000 50 paisa guys okay but since it is in a duplicate record what i am going to use it i am going to write in a collect statement guys i am collecting the record so whenever you use collect collect this into that collect this into that guys so into you need to use it into you need to use it and pretty printer and execute and execute and activate now you execute it it goes to the debugging mode and press f5 already i i know until this now i will go here and i will see the work area and why work area values are 100 iphone and 50 previous record guys now i am replacing the values with the new values now you can see you can go and see you can see the values 50000 because these two are the same so the difference is only the price is the difference guys but see now when i do this i should expect two records right but 
see now what the collect is going to do what the collect is going to do so press f5 see guys how many records in the internal table only one record it is not inserting the record what it is doing it is collecting the value now the sum of the two things is the uh, 55000 plus 50000 it's a 105000 and 50 paisa 50 paisa comes to the 1 rupee guys that's the that's the collect statement are you clear right so yeah this is my record i have one record now okay and uh, here f8 in if you if you do the f8 it is going to execute your report guys now i am going to uh, i don't do the collect now okay collect is done i am going to append the record again so my another record i am going to append guys append the record and my record is here uh, 101 is my another record the order number is 101 whenever i use append it should be an a to it will show guys automatically a red symbol means yeah there is an a syntax error guys that's an a uh, two now maybe it is inserted the another record maybe i don't want to see that record but i how many records i have in the system now so i now two only because it's an a collect it is going to sum up here i have two records maybe i will insert one more record okay and i am going to insert one more record the uh, order number this and it's my case case my product is case and uh, my uh, value is not this much case is 500 rupees okay then i am going to append it now how many records i have i have uh, now i have three records and suppose i would like to insert one record at the second position and i am going to do any insert maybe it's my uh, 100 record but my value is case it's my case and the uh, uh, value is okay maybe 500 rupees and here i am going to do any insert command guys insert and insert this into that and you need to use the index two guys maybe it's giving me the error maybe in two guys not two it's so if it is the keywords always it should be in the blue color if you see it is in the same color uh, gray color or black color you should think that there is something going wrong guys and pretty printer and pretty printer maybe we will see until this how exactly it is going to work guys and uh, do this and do that and do the uh, debugging again maybe i don't want to see the debugging till here i don't want to see the debugging here and put the breakpoint here guys why because i know already how exactly it is working step by step you need to debug guys step by step and execute it and press f5 if you practice in this way you will become the expert guys after some days after two months you will be comfortable with the abap so this is the way just getting the output it is simple guys and do the debugging and not only this any program you need to practice in this way step by step you need to do the debugging and go to the internal table and see there are three records and i have three records now one two three and i'm going to insert one more record at the second position and now you can see the the second position order 100 and case should be inserted now if you go here now you can see order number and case is inserted at the second position whatever the record it is there in the second position that will be moved to the third position guys that's an uh, that's one of the uh, another thing maybe uh, next one is what i am going to do is uh, what we have seen append insert and collect we have used and maybe uh, the uh, sort will see uh, sort is it in sort sorting maybe i can do in a describe table right so describe table and my internal how many records i have in the internal table okay describe table and my describe table and uh, describe table i tap it's my lines it's my count race i can use the count how many lines we are going to have in the count and do the things and and don't define your data objects in the beginning itself guys whenever it is required that time only you need to define guys because i don't know what i am going to do in the program whenever it is required that time always that practice you need to do it some people uh, in the other uh, things they are going to define everything in the in front okay so don't do that what you are going to do i don't know right you will be confused or you are going to learn the program in a butty way guys don't do that kind of practice whenever required that time only you need to define guys that's the practice you need to do it guys. don't buy heart so 
always system will tell you where exactly when exactly you need to define guys that's it i want a count now count i'm going to define the count since the count is in a number i need to do with the insert guys this is the way so what data type you need to use based on the data analysis you need to define the data guys the data analysis is very very important and yeah so that's the uh, thing you need to uh, define guys okay and yes. this conference will now be recorded okay so we are going to describe and now you can do the syntax check there is no syntax errors because we have defined the data object guys we have defined the data object now maybe you will be having uh, some doubt right so how can you print the values in the output so if it is in a single record i can print with work area or variable but if it is in a internal table how can you print the values how can you read the values from the internal table how can you print it guys so if you want to print the values from the now till now how many records i have maybe four records we have so if you want to print these four records how can you print how can you print if it is in a work area i can print there there itself but now i have collected all the records and now i need to process those records from the internal table how can i process it if i want to process multiple records from the internal table what is the statement if i want to process multiple things in the internal table compare with c if you want to do multiple things yeah arrays and here what what exactly it is here it's a internal table but so i told one thing guys how can you do that if you want to process multiple records what can you do if you want to process multiple records in the internal table how can you do it multiple things multiple things multiple things loop perfect answer you need to loop the data guys loop at an internal table and send it to the work area and immediately whenever you open the loop you should print end loop for and for do and do while and while loop and loop guys this is the looping concept okay so you need to loop guys every program you are going to see loop guys without this you cannot see any program okay loop 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 so loop at internal table into work area and now i have the how it will work so if i have four records first it will loop the first record it will send to the work area and and that work area we are going to print with the right statement now i am writing the logic inside the loop and loop within the loop i am writing the logic guys and work area and iphone my first field is sonvo i am printing this and i have work area and i have a product and i am printing the product and work area iphone price i am printing the end price guys now first record it will come and it will go to the end loop and it comes here and it will loop the second record it will print the second record and it goes to end loop and it comes to the next record it print the third record it goes the loop again and we have four records it will loop for the four times and it is going whenever the record is reached the total number of records and the loop will exit guys the loop will exit automatically guys do you want to see so how can you find out you are in which current loop pass how can you find out you are in which loop pass how can you find out you are in which loop pass how can you find out you are in which loop pass i told you there is a system variable guys in the loop and loop yeah there is an a statement called sci tab x guys sci tab x is the system variable which will hold the current loop pass which will hold the current loop pass that i system variable is the sci tab x guys maybe i will use that right i am going to write yeah the current loop pass value is is my sci iphon t a b i x guys so i am going to use this huh? yeah not underscore it's a iphon sci tab x guys so we'll see how exactly it is going to work guys now i don't know how exactly loop will work guys maybe i can put a break point on the loop this is the way of doing the debugging guys no now i sorry control z and 
if you want to get previous state you need to put in a control z guys okay suppose you did something and which is not in a not in a correct par format and do the control z it goes back guys that's a control z option and now i am going to put an a breakpoint over here okay i am put that breakpoint on the loop guys and execute your program and now you can see the internal table i have four records now see guys see guys press f5 okay f5 see guys what is the value of site abix guys always so your eyes should be on the total screen guys so your eyes should be here and here and here and here guys size of rc 0 if your statement is not executed successfully the size of rc value becomes not equal to 0 guys so always your eyes should be here and here and here and here the cursor where it is when you are doing the debugging and you need to observe total screen how exactly what are the values and that you need to see it guys now you can see uh, now the first record what i told whenever you loop the first record it reads it sends to the uh, work area and now you can see go to the internal table my first record is unread iphone uh, this record and see the work area now now you can see 100 iphone this is my record guys and the site abix value is one so i am printing the current loop pass value i am printing the records from the work area guys done and now you see where it goes it goes again back to the loop and it is processing the second record and see the work area you can see the second record case is the second record and printing those records and printing those records it goes to the three and it is printing the third record and it goes to the four it goes to the four it is printing the fourth record and that's it my records number of records are four and my loop will complete now guys and press f5 and you are going to see the current loop pass value is one and the record is this my current loop pass value is two it is printing second record my current loop pass value three it is printing the third record and my current loop pass value is four it is printing the fourth record guys that's the uh, loop which we have introduced guys which we have introduced maybe i will execute this and i will execute again just to see the records so it's uh, 100 100 101 and 101 guys maybe and i'm going to have one record control c and control v and i have the record is five this is my record let's assume okay and execute and execute and just i'm going to execute guys now you can see it's an 100 100 101 105 101 guys is it in a sequence format no if you want to get in a sequence what you need to do so you need to sort it guys maybe i can sort it how can you sort it after this you can sort the record and sort i tab and buy which field you need to do s o n o guys because this is the field of the sales order and you need to do with us s o n o guys execute it and execute and you can you have to debug guys i am not doing it's a simple that's why i am not doing the debugging now you can see 101 105 and final record is the 105 guys maybe if you do the same sort control c and control v and if you want to do by descending we need to add an a descending order and pretty printer and execute and execute and activate and do this and execute i'm not doing in a debugging mode now it is printing 105 101 101 100 100 guys this is an a descending order of your records guys maybe i have uh, uh now i am going to declare i am going to declare a, another internal table and maybe i can do like this okay and i have an a work area one and internal table one guys i have work area one and internal table one guys now what i am going to do is so <coughs> i can dump the records okay uh, i tap uh, one equal to i tap one guys now i will i have the records in uh, sorry uh, so yeah that's the i tap guys i can move the records like this and sometimes what i can do is uh, maybe uh, <coughs> maybe i have the record here so what i am doing now i am going to move the record from work area to work area one guys maybe i am in uh, appending the duplicate record so just to show how it is going to work i am doing this append work area one 
to i tab that also i can do guys because so this the both are the same structure i can move to the another work area i can do from the work area one to the i tab as well because all are referred with the same structure guys i can play like any thing guys i can play like any things and now we do the syntax check and activate maybe this time i am going to do the debugging and so why because yeah i will put the debugging over here and execute because i need to see how exactly it is going to work now you can see the values and maybe f5 and f5 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 now work area i have the record and 100 case 500 but go to the work area one and work area one with the same structure but now not at we don't have the values but the cursor is at move and press f5 now go to the work area one you can see the values in the work area one guys so in the move statement we can move from work, work area to the another work area guys and also i can dump the records maybe i don't want to i already seen loop and loop guys if i want to come here put a breakpoint like this and press f fight so it will execute all the things and it will come to over here now you see in itab one how many records we have we have zero records and if you do this how many records we have six because i already moved before that's why now we are getting a six records now guys okay that's the name that's an itab one guys that's an itab one and equal operator and move we have used guys but what i am going to do now is uh, restart so i am going to now guys my requirement is just i have an, another field and another reference structure okay another reference structure here i am going to add another field my field is let's take an example of price and this and maybe my uh, price after this maybe i will be having some item item maybe take something no problem six and type c guys i have an additional field now if you see this structure and this structure are different now you see what will happen do the <coughs> do the maybe i need to change the reference as well so it's a sales one it's my sales one and here i am going to change to the sales one and sales one guys so what i did now so what i did i have defined one more types and for the work area one i have assigned another types guys now if you see work area is referenced with ty sales work area one is referenced with the ty sales one ty sales one so here i have a three fields but here i have a four fields guys so the fields are different from one structure to the another structure and if you do like this what will happen do the syntax check now so no syntax errors why uh, sales one and sales one uh, yeah uh, yeah ty sales ty sales one ty sales one it should give me the syntax errors guys why because this so we'll do uh, one thing we'll uh, go to here and delete the breakpoint maybe you see what will happen so maybe the move corresponding is now i am sending the values i have a work area and work area one and this is my work area and uh, and this is my work area one go to the work area one you see another field additionally which is there and do the move and go to the work area one you can see the values but so by because i have the field in the end that's why it's not giving anything maybe what i will do is just i will change see how the impact so now i will take this field and i will going to insert in middle of this since it is in the last field it's not giving me the anything and do now so do the syntax check now see guys now it's not compatible okay so if it is in the end it's not checking but if it is in the middle so it's giving me the syntax error it's giving me the syntax error guys that's the difference that's the difference so if it is in the last it's not giving me and this time what you need to do you need to use move corresponding guys and so this is not at all possible it will give the syntax errors now you can see it will give me the syntax error and may, maybe uh, append corresponding you cannot do it maybe you can send it to the i tab one you can send it to the i tab one guys 
and now you can see i tab one both structures are not possible maybe i can use like this move corresponding and i tab uh, sorry i tab to i tab to i tab one guys that's what i can do it and save it equal is not at all possible if you have both the structures not equal not equal and that is not compatible so you cannot do any equal symbol it should be if you want to do any equal symbol the source structure and target structure should be having the same fields in the same order but if it is in the uh, internal table you need to use an a move corresponding guys maybe i will enter it and put a breakpoint here i am going to see now and execute it now uh, f8 and f8 now i come here and this is my item one this is my item five guys i have five records in the internal table one internal table one means the basic one and i am going to move the five records now you can see so it becomes the five records in the item one as well guys it moves all the records to the internal table one as well guys and that's it and do you have any questions still here no right so what i am going to do is next one is so maybe uh, here uh, in the uh, uh, i tab i have an a record my record is uh, work area maybe what i am going to do is i am going to read one record from here guys i am going to read one record single record how can you read the single records from the internal table how can you read the uh, uh, no no how can you read the single record from the internal table not the sing if you want to define a single values we need to define a variable huh? so i told you i told you guys in the yesterday's class loop is used to process the multiple records from the internal table if you want to read the records single records i told you read table internal table i tab if this is also very very important guys into work area i can read with the key and i can read with index guys i told this statement in the yesterday and you can do the read by using uh, by using it will read the single record from the internal table and we can read the record table by using with the key or with the index guys maybe i am going to read with key s1 number equal to maybe my record is 10 uh, how many zeros 60 70 and 105 is the record guys and whenever you do the read table so you need to consider performance guys you need to consider the performance always you need to apply in a binary algorithm guys binary search but if you want to do a binary search you should uh, guys already there is an a sort to by this field no problem if it is ascending or descending but it should be sorted by your field a key field which you have used in the read table this is my key field which i have used and that that internal table with, should be sorted by with this case that is the precondition and whenever you do an a read always it will return size of rc guys size of rc value size of rc equal to 0 so what i am going to do is i am going to just i am doing an a i would like to change the price guys so if this is a 105 order i have to apply a gst on top of it okay that's what i am going to do in a arithmetic operation just i am doing some calculation on this price guys whenever the order is 105 guys what i am going to, how can you apply the gst how can you apply the gst how can you apply the gst so maybe my record is in work area right so whenever you read it it will read the single record it will store in the work area so work area hyphen price equal to uh, maybe work area hyphen price plus gst plus uh, actual price on top of you need to add the gst right so again uh, price uh, uh, into what is the price uh, apply 18% divided by 100 guys so this is the logic always abap is an a space sensitive you need to put in a space guys this is my gst i have modified the value now i have uh, updated the value with the gst amount now i need to do an a modification on top of it i need to modify the record now so just i did an a modify on the work area level but if you want to modify at the internal table you need to write a statement 
modify your internal table itap from work area and index and what the what which record you are going to modify it i am going to modify the record index which record i don't know guys i am reading it how the how i should i know on which record you are going to modify on which record it is reading this on which index it is reading it guys here i told right loop and loop there is an every record there is an a site abix row number is the site abix right suppose if i read the record also it will fill the value in the site abix guys so the index is the site abix the row number value will be stored in the site abix and also you need to tell to the system which field you are doing the modification transporting is the keyword my field is price is my field guys this is what the modify statement guys this is the modify statement so now the record will be modified maybe what i can do so i will take this loop control x and control v so i will keep here i am going to modify print after modifying the values i am going to print it that's the meaning guys what i am doing modifying the record and again printing it guys okay initial value is something but on top of it i am applying on 105 so what is the value of the 105 uh, 50000 right so 50000 plus uh, 9000 maybe 18 fiza 90 so 9000 is the tax so it should be the value should be approximately 59000 is the value guys for the 105 order so do you want to see that now maybe i am not doing debugging directly i will see and later i am going to apply the debugging debugging and see the 105 so what what happened guys if the value is not modified the value is only 105 and so maybe zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so maybe let me do the debugging why it's not updating the value 59000 i am going to see in the debugging now you see there is an inconsistency i should ideally the value should be 59000 why it's not doing the 59000 that's i am going to see now why my modify statement is not working so where is the problem here is the problem right here is the problem so there only i am not going to put in a debugger guys whenever you see a problem you suspect so my read table and my modify statement is not working properly so this is my root cause that's why i am putting the debugger at the read table guys and execute it and and now the cursor is here and press f8 and press f8 and now cursor comes to the read table and press f5 guys maybe here the zeros one two three four five six seven maybe read f5 size of rc size of rc size of rc this is the debugging guys it is giving me the eight that means your previous statement is not successful your previous statement is not successful so the problem i don't know we'll see the internal table and go to the internal table and 105 okay calculate this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 perfect 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 zeros 105 right and go here s o n o right what i am passing here is the value maybe the value problem here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 why it's not giving me the value why it's not giving me the value huh? single quotes yeah it should be it's in a character i should be in the single quote guys maybe my i think the i think i will i'm getting a spurious results here see guys Curious results. Maybe I need to do the sort by ascending. It seems maybe I will do that. Okay, so I my value is same, guys. I pass the exact value. It's not returning the when I use the binary search. I suspect the sort is the problem. It seems I'm going to change the sort to the ascending now. I'm going to do the sort to the ascending. What is the impact we are going to see now, guys? So maybe I will go back and change this to the ascending. Maybe. I'll comment this code guys here it will be the ascending order right 
so just to show what is descending i applied maybe i am to commenting that code now i commented that code right someone asked what is the meaning of the comment right this is the meaning now i don't want that code i commented the code guys and control how do you comment control less than is the code guys now we'll do the debugging again and go here and press f8 and come here now you do the press f5 guys see that's the impact of sort guys descending also doesn't work guys really this is the first time i have observed this so when you do that descending so it doesn't work your read table with binary search doesn't work always sort with ascending order is the perfect answer guys so when you want to apply in a binary search on the read table you should do in a sort with ascending order not with the descending order guys not with the descending order that's what the binary algorithm now you can see guys so my service of rc guys successful now now if you go to the work area it will read the exact record 105 iphone and 50000 this is my record and go to the desktop one and come so when size of rc equal to zero apply the gst and whenever the the success so this is the conditions guys if condition if and and if i don't tell explain right so maybe so uh, this is the simple if conditions if you want to implement you need to use if and if guys so already you know this right not to much explain here uh, on the conditional statements and now you can see yeah size of rc value equal to zero it will go inside my price now you can see it's in a 59000 guys it's in a 59000 it is calculated the price this uh, on gst price now you can see it is going to modify now go to the internal table is still the internal table value is uh, where is that uh, 105 yeah it's 50000 only right so now i am going to execute the modify statement now i go back to the internal table now you can see the value is mad modified guys the value is modified in the internal table guys that's the modify statement guys that's the modify statement okay now maybe i am going to uh, delete the uh, same record maybe how can you delete the same record okay so if you want to delete i am going to delete another record guys maybe i can delete the record with the 55000 record i am going to delete it guys how can you delete it so maybe so what i am going to do is i am going to delete the record where sales order number equal to 100 where the sales order number equal to 100 guys so delete i tab and here you need to put where condition where so and wo equal to this is my record that's it so pretty printer and do this and do this and do this and execute now you can see how many records you will be having all 100 records will be deleted maybe i will be having only 101 and 105 guys do the debugging you will come to know guys okay already you know how exactly you need to debug that's why i'm not showing in the debugging now some of the steps i can ignore in the debugging if you do already guys now this is what the uh, delete record guys here i am passing hard coded value guys even you can send the data objects as well you can send the data objects as well guys let's take an example of i have a value over here maybe i am going to take one variable okay field uh, field for so and this is my variable this value equal to this let's take an example i can do uh, whatever the operations i want so i am sending this value to the variable and that variable i can use over here guys f underscore s o n o right so you can send the even data objects as well in the conditions in the where conditions and with in the if conditions and all and i can do like this as well guys so uh, so what is the pro is this syntax is correct no you need to define a data objects for the f underscore so n o guys and i need to declare that maybe i can declare a variable and for that maybe f underscore so n o and same type i am going to take type of the c guys character then i am going to take it out and pretty printer and do the syntax check and activate guys and at the activate this is my uh, logic this is my logic and i can do the with the variables as well in the read table or wherever i want i can do that guys wherever i want i can 
uh, do the uh, values with the data object reference as well now uh, I, I i got all the things now maybe uh, i what i need to do is i need to um, do what kind of things i need to do is so maybe uh, there is an a product guys let's take an example uh, so here i am going to take one more record so here my record is this okay so this is my i'm going to append the record okay so what is the problem is i don't know the price maybe i have a screen guard uh, is the uh, one material screen guard is one material guys so this material price i don't know actually i'm not uh, i'm not doing i'm not sending pro sending the price value over here i'm not sending the price value over here okay so see what will happen so what i am doing here i am not sending the price value for the case 101 case case okay so what will happen we are going to see now so when you don't send the values here what will happen maybe i can put the breakpoint delete all the breakpoints if you want to delete all the breakpoints you can delete it guys so where you can see go to display settings display break breakpoints and display all so it will display all and select all and uh, remove all i removed all the breakpoints guys okay and i am going to put the breakpoint over here i am going to put the breakpoint over here and execute and now i am appending this record to the internal table see what will happen see what will happen go to the internal table and now you see i have one one not one and screen guard and i didn't send the price but where it is coming from where it is coming from where it is coming from yeah it is coming from from the previous record guys this is my work area so i am replace the value with this and this i didn't replace the value here so it is taking the previous record it is taking the previous record guys ideally this is an a bug guys because the value is not 500 rupees for my screen guard and it is giving me the error it's a not error so the data inconsistency you see in the report the data inconsistency you see in the report even though you didn't pass it you are getting it so this kind of times what you need to do whenever you pass a new record always you need to clear the previous record guys that's what the importance of the clear what clear will do clear will remove the data from the variable and work area and internal table guys got it so now i am going to clear this now what will happen when you clear this this data will be already i have appended the data i can clear it no problem i have cleared it i am appending i am transferring the new records and now the new price it is going to the blank price it is going to get it guys now you are going to get the blank blank price and you see here and now see and press f5 and press f5 and go to the internal table and go to here now you can see there is an a blank value guys that's the importance of the clear guys that's the importance of the clear the previous values are copied into the next record when you don't do the clear guys okay maybe uh, this is the clear and and even the clear can work on work area the clear will work on work on the uh, here as well guys. maybe i have used that field maybe i can clear that value f underscore s o n o so what i did here i passed the value here and i have used that value after reading it i can clear that value guys i can clear that value so just guys the functional don't think about the functionality here just i am showing the the uh, importance of the that keywords case okay you have you need to always think in that point of view okay don't think why is putting here and why is removing at all just i am showing how the keywords will work okay that only i am showing over here guys don't think about on the functionality side okay so just i am passing the value clearing the value how the clear will affect on work area how the clear will affect on uh, variables that's what i am showing over here guys okay in the real time we don't do like this okay just i am going to uh, i am explaining only the fundamentals over here guys the scenarios the real time reports will come up 
whenever i know uh, the flow will come whenever it is required that time i am going to show the real time reports how you are going to do it guys okay so this is all fundamentals and maybe i put the breakpoint over here and execute your program and press f8 I press f8 now you see my value is 105 and if i execute this statement now the value is clear to the space case that's what i am going to show guys that's a clear clear will work on uh, work area and uh, variable and as well as internal table as well guys maybe now i have the data in two internal tables i tab even in the i tab one as well so maybe first i am going to clear the value in i tab and now you see what will happen maybe i just i write dummy because i want a dummy uh, things and go and execute and enter and all these things i can show in the only in the debugging guys maybe i can put a debugger here and plus and f8 and f8 because already i have seen all the statements i am pressing f8 now you can see there is an i tab we have four records in the i tab so when i do the clear and you can see there is an, a zero records it is removed the records from the internal table guys but so clear works on uh, variable and work area and internal table but i am going to write a refresh and suppose i am going to use maybe i have a data in work area one as well and maybe i will do in a refresh work area one so this is my value and i am going to write a refresh on the work area one pretty printer and do the syntax check guys so work area is not an internal table it doesn't work on work area f and f underscore s o n o and do the syntax check guys f and not a internal table internal table refresh will work on only on the internal table guys that's the refresh statement just if you do the free on on i tab and i tab one maybe it's not visible the memory allocation will be removed from the i tab and i tab one guys pretty printer and activate you cannot see that uh, thing guys you cannot see that maybe what i can do is uh, open work area to open work area to uh, i tab i tab okay maybe uh, is it takes yeah it is taking maybe it's taking okay so put a break point here and we'll see what will happen press i did in a free and so i'm not sure i didn't try uh, previously this kind of things and your batch i'm giving more dose okay and f8 it comes here clear and refresh and free and free and click on this and click on this and append now and it is appended guys after you even okay so maybe after you free i should not store the values i don't know why it's appending and maybe uh, i don't know how exactly it is working maybe we'll see later that free statement maybe uh, loop so loop at i tap into work area and uh, write work area if one so and o and and loop. it will loop because the uh, thing is <coughs> okay it's printing right current loop pass value 4 and after that it is printing 101 guys it is printing it so i need to work on it guys. so i don't know why it's it's giving so it should remove all the memory allocation as well i'm not sure we'll check it we'll check this maybe what you can do press f1 on the free and maybe free above statement free memory and free above statement free memory okay no this is not one uh, free okay free me memory without an addition is obsolete okay and okay free on 
f1 free memory maybe it's an absolute guys free memory is an absolute statement that's why it's not working it's working actually free you should not use it you should not use maybe you can always we don't use most of the times free guys always we use a clear and refresh we don't use the free guys we don't use always we are going to remove the data from work area and body we don't use the free statement guys and that's what the free statement read table and binary search and loop okay we have used the uh, loop and we have seen the site abx values current loop was all and and uh, read table and we have used move and move corresponding and this also we did guys that's what all the internal table operations we have done we did with this program guys okay so that's it do you have any questions huh? select yeah, yeah you will get it you will come to now select right not now i will explain okay so we are coming to that part i have some flow i should execute that flow na okay so we'll we are see till now what we are doing we are add coding the values to store the values temporarily in the internal table normally we don't add code these values guys we don't hard code these values we are going to get these values from the database guys so that's the concept we are going to see in the next class that's the class the flow the exactly the flow i am coming to that part select statements so now the thing is here i am hard coding the values normally we don't hard code the values in the program level and we need to get those values from the data base case we need to get them those things in the database that's what my flow now i am going to introduce the concept called i don't explain now so this is my input and control c and control v this is my processing logic and control c control v this is my output but this is my input and i have processing logic pl this is my output so we have seen some of the things in the output side we have seen something in the processing logic side in the processing logic level what i did i did an hard coded value but the real time we don't hard code it guys this is my database this is my data base guys the database can be uh, now the architecture also coming up oracle or ms sql or uh, we have this kind of database db6 or it's a hana guys okay so how we are going to integrate our application layer this is my application layer and this one and this is my presentation layer this is my database layer guys the architecture i am telling you over here all your code will design in this layer and my input is the gui presentation layer and output also i am going to see it's my presentation layer and this is my application layer and this is my database layer and how you are going to store the values in database layer how you are going to fetch the data from database to the application layer and what are all the database concepts that we are going to see in the next class case before going to that maybe we need to see the input as well by input as well guys so i will introduce the input screen how we can design the input screens for your, our abap program later i am going to the database level guys core fundamentals all our course will run with this picture guys all our course will run with this picture with this picture guys this is my picture and this is my picture guys this is my picture that's what our course okay so we are going to talk a lot about on the database on the selection screen and processing logic and output okay there are a lot of concepts wise so here i did an output with right statement and if you do this with right statement uh, that's why we don't do in the real time with the right statement guys okay so it doesn't give a beautiful it's a rigid output okay it there is no colors to your life guys if you do the uh, output with the right statement there are no colors to your life so if you want to have any colors to your life we need to apply the concepts of the abap so we are going to have the concepts abap concepts how to do reporting on your a screen there are a lot of interesting things coming up so this is a fundas guys this fundas you should know that's why i have explained with that statements and these are all the fundamentals after the fundamentals we are going to go to the key concepts of the abap what exactly the database and how can you design the database how can you design the tables how can you create the tables 
how can you enter the data into database tables how can you read the data from database tables and a uh, lot of concepts we are going to uh, talk about on the database and input and output and suppose if i have one more server how can i integrate this server to the other server maybe i have a third party server third party application which is uh, running on the salesforce and how can you integrate your data from salesforce to the sap system and there is an automation uh, there is an employee is applied the leave request on the system and whenever you apply a leave request your teacher has to approve the company your manager has to approve how we are going to automate that kind of things in the sap system workflow concept sap automation sap workflow concept is a, a robo guys in, in the sap the workflow is the robo of your sap system that also we are going to see and also there is an, a web application in the output side there is an a here we are seeing the outputs in the sap gui screen but if you want to see your application data on the web application how you are going to design that kind of things we are going to see that's what our course details case okay the full stack developer i am going to teach for you so front end and middleware and back end the full stack developer thing i am going to teach in this course case okay so for the two years or the fresher if you go for the interviews if you claim you are a full stack developer so no one will stop you on getting the jobs guys no one will stop you definitely he has to take why because there is a lot of resource crunch on the programming technology side there is a lot of resource crunch there is a huge demand for the technology side guys so that's it for today's class see you on monday at 9 am guys okay that's it do you have any questions no that's it for today's class see you bye bye see you on monday